July at 11, domestic violence turns deadly. For the second time in as many days, Cleveland is dealing with a domestic murder. The first yesterday at this Burger King on Cleveland's west side. The second inside this home along Cloverside. And it was an elderly couple. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley went to the neighborhood tonight. And Frank, tell us where did all of this go wrong? Well, neighbors are still confused. They thought it may have been anyone else, but not this couple. Yeah. They said it was domestic. Whatever the coroner recorded was much more than anyone could have imagined. Both times there was a gun. It's so surreal, like they're not gone. The wrong east side house, Yasmin White figured, but there it was, just like in the police report, 15804. No telling what was being discussed beforehand behind these walls. Police heard the gun clap. They never really argued and like you never heard problems like the police never came here or nothing. SWAT surrounded the place. By the time they went in, officers found a 76-year-old man and a 70-year-old woman in bed, dead. Across town in the 11,000 block of Lorraine Avenue, breakfast at Burger King turned violent. The couple brought their problems to the restaurant. Police say a female employee died from a gunshot wound. She was 38. Investigators say moments later, he stepped into the bathroom, squeezed the trigger, and killed himself. I've seen him every day. But from a distance, she was never close enough to witness what the couple didn't want her to see. And police continue to investigate that restaurant shooting. For now, we are live in Cleveland. Frank Wiley, News 5.